Hey there, guys. Welcome back to uh, Blood Mod 14 here. Uh, welcome back to Let's Play Yu Gi Oh! GX Duel Academy. In the last episode, um, yeah, Bastion wished us a happy new year, and uh, we chose the end of the duel. Well, actually, he chose the end of the duel in a pretty hilarious fashion uh, by playing Ring of Destruction when he didn't have life points for it. Uh, I have switched decks. I switched to the. Uh, oh, let's uh, move this mouse off screen. I switched to the uh, to the Earth deck, so let's try this one. Look, I put my heart and soul in these six decks. The deck I used to defeat Flood is this one. And like, yeah, last episode he also said that he uh, he like built a new deck, you know, and he wanted to challenge us right away. But uh, I don't know, man. It kind of looked like uh, his, you know, normal normal decks. So I don't know what that was all about. But uh, I've already done the math, and I, I'll win. You're just a theorem to be cracked. Whatever, Bastion. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Exile Force, Mirror Force. Good. Uh, we we got the we got all the forces here. Uh, let's see. Oh, got Gaia Power too. Uh, well, I don't have an Earth in my hand. You know what? Uh, he's probably got Magic Jammer. So, although this kind of helps him, doesn't it? Mm, let's play it anyway. Let's bait the Magic Jammer. I knew it. I knew it. Predictable. No, 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 you're an easy problem to solve, Bastion. <laughs> I knew you had that magic jammer, bro. I mean, honestly, you probably shouldn't have, should have let it go through, considering you play all those magnet wars. You're just an easy problem to solve, Flood. Call up the haunted. Uh, okay, Luster. Oh, was that the... Oh, that is. That's the one with uh, 2,400 points. That was a pretty good combo, Bastion, not gonna lie. So, that's this right here. Yeah, Dragon Feeds on Emerald, Enchanted by this monster even when attacked, few people live to tell of its beauty. Pretty cool. I mean, not too much to worry about though when you get Mirror Force, am I right guys? So uh, yeah, let's just uh, attack with the Spear Dragon. Okay, and uh, yeah, Spear Dragon, Mirror Force, pretty good combo, pretty good combo. All right, uh, Spear Dragon, attack this monster. Ooh, yep, Magnet Warrior, like I said. Yeah, and you still, even though your monster's still in defense mode, when Spear Dragon attacks your monster, well then, you still take the damage, Bastion. Alright, and we'll set to face down, and, uh, end our turn. Well, should I set Book of Moon? Nah, nah. I don't know, what if this guy has Heavy Storm or something, something crazy. My Trollchius maneuvers to summon Bites of the Magnet Warrior in attack mode. Huh. A beta warrior for a beta male. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this will send your spill truck into the graveyard. Oh yeah, Bastion. Did you calculate this? I have a face down. Go, Mirror Force. Destroy all of his monsters. Looks like you need to redo those calculations, Bastion. Ooh, Goblin Elite Attack Force. That's a pretty solid Earth monster. Let's summon it. Alright. And now with Mirror Force gone, I will set Book of Boom face down. All right, Spear Dragon back to attack mode, and uh, he's wide open, so let's just get in there, boys. Go, Spear Dragon. Dragon Drill Attack. All right. It looks like he would be a Drill Pack user. And, uh, yeah, even though both of our monsters are going to be in defense mode here, I can feel pretty good about this one. We're winning the duel, we're winning the duel. Quantum deal theories. Uh, okay, that's that's fine with me. Card strike. No, that's pretty desperate. He only has two cards in his hand, so Let's see what you threw away there, Bastion. Uh, that's it. Push off. And my spear dragon has piercing damage, Bastion. All right, let, let, let's see what he threw away just for kicks here. I'll set this. Uh, I have Mother Grizzly in the stick still for some reason. Oh, I guess uh, I probably do have a uh, Sinister Serpent still in here, so. Never mind, that kind of does make sense. Uh, let's see what he threw away. Dude, you threw away Vorse Raider? <laughs> what are you doing, Bastion? You could have just summoned that. And, I mean, you could have tried to attack my Elite Attack Force or Spear Dragon. I mean, they were both in defense, bro. <laughs> That's my choicest maneuver is to get rid of my best monster, I tell you. Uh, well, uh, I mean, to be fair, he did draw into Penguin Soldier. So, oh, not bad, bud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, you bouncing Elite Attack Force back to my hand, it kind of helps me in a way. Because, like, 
it was still stuck in defense mode. So like, let's say I didn't have these face downs. I mean, that just means I can summon a 2200 attack point monster next turn. Not too smart, Bastion. Not too smart, honestly. Do -do -do -do. Yeah. My choice is beneath this summon Penguin Soldier. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I definitely don't want to uh, flip it face down. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's see how you like being returned to your hand. Penguin Soldier would never betray me. Go, ejection booster seat. Return Penguin Soldier to his hand now. Yeah, let's see how you like it, Bastion. Yeah. Let's taste your own medicine. Oh, I see that face down. I see that face down, bro. All right, all right. Let's see if he shotguns it right away like last time. Oh, he does. Uh, you want easy problem to solve, Flid. Fuck up, soldier. Well, that's not really gonna help you here, buddy. I mean, you'll get one of your magnet warriors back, but it, it's it's too late. The duel's already over, bro. You should have left that magnet warrior in the graveyard. Let's go for the most overkill we can with Goblin Elite Attack Force. Uh, almost put Steamroid there, but no, no, no. Steamroid only gets its uh, boost when attacking monsters, so just kind of remember that. If you happen to be, you know, copying me or whatever, and then, you know, going with the same deck. Oh, not bad, Flood. Oh, yeah? All right, go, Goblin Elite fo Attack Force. <laughs> All of you, go, Tackle Attack. Is my deck flawed? Well, yeah, 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 it's kind of flawed, Bastion. Let's be honest. Okay, 396, not bad, not bad. Hey, I lost. I learned a lot in this duel. I have to recalculate my equations. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, Flood. Take a look around. Anything catch your eye? Uh, there might be a new pack here. I don't know. Uh, right, like, I do remember we got Mirror Force out of here last time. I wonder if there's anything else kind of good in Trap Special, though. Uh, these are 150, though, so... Let's buy, like, four of these. Uh, let's buy, like, mm, one spell special. One of these. Uh, and I already got all my seven tools. I don't know what else I really want. I mean, equipments are pretty cheap. Let's buy three of those. And, uh, maybe some field cards? Could help us mix things up. Well, no, these are 150. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know about that, yeah. Um... Anything else cheap? Oh, this one's kind of cheap, like only 120. Uh, 1440. Okay, we'll buy one more. Okay, and I think that'll do it. Uh, one summon skull pack, just because. Do I even have summon skull yet? I don't think so. Let's buy three summon skull packs. Okay, that looks good. Let's see if we get anything new, guys. Yeah, that's good, Dorothy. Thanks. All right. I mean, we have all this DP. Might as well spend it, right? Some of it, anyway. I do still want a third Mobius, so we're gonna save a little of our DP for the weekend. Metal Dragon, cool. Oh, yeah, we've been using that card a lot in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories lately, so. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, I'm not even sure if I post. Ooh, Goblin Attack Force. I don't know how many I have in this Warrior deck, but that would be a good add. Uh, Lightning Blade, it's pretty good. Overdrive. Okay, some good stuff. Let's see if we get any good equips here. Mm, Mega Morph's pretty good. Uh, Big Bang Shot's pretty good. Yeah. Fairy Meteor Crush, yeah. Some stuff to help us with piercing, that's good. Anything get ooh, Lightning Vortex. I'm pretty sure we already have that, but uh, that's cool. Uh, Mystic Walk, might be new. Anything out of here. Uh, it's High Spell, interesting. Fiend Comedian can lead to some interesting decks, honestly. Uh, ooh, is that Exchange of the Spirit? We'll have to check that out, hang on. Okay, so we have 95%. Well, we did get a new card out of here, Giant Soldier Stone. Oh, okay, yeah, we got quite a few new cards out of here, so maybe I'll buy the Summon Skull Pack some more, try to get 100%. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna read the follow one. This is, uh, I've used this a lot in Dawn of Destiny with, like, some of the St. Joan decks, some of the Fusion decks. Okay, okay, pretty good. Uh, anything new out of the Eclipse? We did get Fairy Meteor Crush for the first time. This is kind of like bank, Big Bang Shot, but without the risk, you know what I mean? Uh, just a straight, helps you get straight piercing, which is good, honestly. Uh, oh, so we have 90% in Spell Special. Okay. Okay, okay, so I probably need to buy Spell Special 2 more. We only have uh, 72%. Okay, that's good to know. Soul Reversal can be used in... Uh, uh, I like to use this in some Jar decks. And, uh, yeah, like Cyber Jar and Morphing Jar just reset those. Pretty funny. Uh, reversal of Graves. Ooh, I wonder if this card's banned in this game. Let's check this out. I believe this is pre-errata too, so yeah, uh, to activate, pay a thousand life points when there are 15 more cards in your graveyard. 
Each player exchanges the cards in their graveyard with their deck. Finally, cards from the graveyard are shuffled and set in the deck zone. Yeah, I believe that's a pre errata Yeah, because it doesn't say your opponent has to have 15 cards, so I don't know if we can make that happen. In fact, this is actually a pretty good combo. If you get the meal effect with Fiend Comedian, Reverso Graves. Pretty interesting. Um, we might have to try to make a Reverso Graves deck. Hmm. Uh, if it's unbanned, maybe if I get a second one? Although it might be limited to one, now that I think of it. So, uh, uh, any new cards out of here? Oh, no, wait, this is all the packs. Okay, okay. So, yeah, uh, Exchange of Spirit. Mm, pretty interesting, pretty interesting. Uh, nope, that'll be it, Dorothy. Thank you. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, we got some new cards. Let's save there. Let's save, yes. Okay, we're at, uh... Looks like 8.39. We should be able to get, like, one or two more duels, depending on how long they take. Get your game on! Alright, side. So, yeah! How's it doing anything? Yeah! Okay, pick tails. I'm gonna get a drink of water. Oh, looks like we're going, uh, for here, so... Alright. Hang on, side. I just need a drink real quick, buddy. That's good. That's good. And, uh, I'm gonna get another drink. Hang on, let me take my turn real quick here. I guess we have scapegoat since it was probably yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it, it's like every time there's a quick play it's scapegoat. Um, let's just uh, summon Mama Grizzly first turn. And uh, ooh, this is actually a very good uh, trap card. But um, I'm gonna wait till he has like quite a few more face downs before we set uh, Calamity of the Wicked there. Uh, ooh, we have Noble and the Cross up too. That's good. Um, well, actually, maybe I should set it now. Honestly, if I destroy my own scapegoat, I'm okay with that. Like, if we snipe uh, three or four spells and traps, that's fine. Okay, Cyrus, don't choke, don't choke. Right. A face down monster. One face down. Two. Three face downs. Oh my god, Cyrus, jeez. Calm down, buddy. Uh, activate uh, Spell or Trap. Hmm. Actually, yeah, this is a good idea. Let's just play Scapegoat here. And maybe having all these sheep tokens will... Um, that's everything. I guess I end my turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe having all these sheep tokens will make the AI think, like, hmm, maybe I should attack because he has all these, you know, zero attack monsters. So let's not do anything this turn and try to wipe, wipe out those three face downs with Calamity of the Wicked. That sounds like a good plan to me. Goblin, uh, Goblin Attack Force, okay. So I have at least one in this deck. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's do that and all in my turn side. What are you gonna do? The Koichi in attack mode. Well, that can't beat over my mama, Grizzly, so. All right, Sai, let me see. Since the Koichi has more points, it can destroy your sheep token, Flood. Oh yeah, Sai? Well, I have a trap. Go, Calamity of the Wicked. Aww. Oh, well, he did have seven tools, okay. I don't think so. Seven tools at the bandit. Well, okay, at least we got one face down out of your side. Alright, alright. Man, that would have been great though if we got like all three of those. Man. Okay. Um, well, now we have to go through the face down. So let's see if he has Magic Jammer. Let's use a uh, cross out on his face down monster. Okay. He does not have. Ooh, yeah, get rid of all the penguin soldiers in your deck, buddy. But he has only one? There's no way, bro. With how often the AI uh, plays uh, Penguin Soldier, there's no way he has only one in his deck. I I don't believe that. I don't believe... Do you guys? Like, come on. I mean, second opinion here. All right, he probably has Magic Cylinder or something, but let's just uh, try to crash anyway. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That gate attack. Honestly, that's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, he could have had Mirror Force. He could have had, like... You know, um, and I don't want to summon anything right now. Uh, like, what if he has Torrential Tribute? Yeah, so we'll just, uh, well, yeah, we'll just end the turn. I really don't want him to play Torrential Tribute here, and he hasn't played that other face down since I, and I have since I haven't summoned. So, ooh, Gyroid's kind of annoying, honestly. Uh, yeah, I can destroy your sheep token. Okay, you know what? I'll gladly sack a gyroid, so see a gyroid. Okay, and that other face down isn't seven tools, so... 
Uh, yeah, I'm thinking it's like Trap Horror Torrential Tribute, you know. Nimble Monga, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, let's just attack the Quichi here, and I'll float into another Mama Grizzly. Yeah, attack Mama Grizzly. Oh, another, there he goes. Mirror Force, he did have Mirror Force. He just played Negate Attack first. You see, I'm kind of glad I didn't summon another monster though, because like, um, if I did, you know, both of our monsters would have gotten destroyed there. So that's, honestly, that kind of worked out. I was being a little cautious there. It worked out, it worked out. Okay, all right, go ahead, Sai. Bokoichi in attack mode. Oh my god, he can use the effect <laughs> of Dekoichi to draw an additional card. The Chad, the Chad. Uh, yes, I'll gladly set another one. And I'll set another one. The good news is uh, Nemo can run over his uh, his Boko. Bo Bokoichi, so. Alright, don't set another face down, Sai. Good, good. See, now we'll attack. Now we'll attack. And we got Compulse to protect uh, uh, Attack Force, so there we go. All right, go, Goblin Attack Force. There we go, Sai. All right. Nimmo Momonga, take out Boko. Okay, and Goblin Attack Force. Destroy Deco Ichi. you destroyed Dekoichi so easily. Yeah, buddy. All right, I have my turn. Okay, what you got inside? This spell card's gonna do wonders. Premature Burial, yeah, that is a pretty good spell card, buddy. Uh, nope. Okay, <laughs> it was playing the winning music. Harpy Girl in a tackle at all, oh, man, it's his card crush. <laughs> Uh, actually, you know what I'm gonna do here? Uh, I'm actually gonna do this, Sai. Check this out. Since he brought back, uh, Boko Ichi, I'm gonna use Compulse on my own Goblin Attack Force to return to my hand to protect it. And the next turn, I can just resummon it. Yeah, what do you think about that, Sai? Alright, so he's gonna take down Nimmo Bonga here. That's fine, though. That's fine. Hmm, actually something I could do, which would be even better than what I just thought of. Uh, what's the stats on Harpy Girl? 500? Okay, let's get the two for one. Go, Exile Force! Oh man, too good. And then main phase two, I can just use the effect to take out uh, Dekoichi. There we go, destroy Harpy Girl. And then main phase two. Okay, I'll use Exile Force. Contributing itself to destroy Dekoichi. Nice, and we got seven tools in case he gets any more traps. It's looking pretty good, this is looking pretty good. Just need to draw some more monsters and stuff. Spell card's gonna do one, well, okay. So much for seven tools, he just, he just played that right away. I've never seen the AI do that in this game. Um, well, he doesn't have any monsters right now, so let's go with a Goblin Attack Force. And yeah, we'll just attack directly. We don't have anything to protect it, but hopefully he just breaks. That wasn't very nice. Psh, whatever, bro. Whatever. I am my son, Sai. What you gonna do? Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good spell card. That's a pretty good one. Okay. That's everything I can say in my turn. Psh, yeah, yeah. Oh, ooh. Hmm. Dilemma. So he's got one face down. I could summon Tribe here, but, uh... Honestly, let's see what he threw away. Oh, dude, you threw away limiter removal. What are you doing? Honestly, like, let's just keep seven tools. Uh, let's keep a tribe infected virus in our hand. And that way, you know, we don't get screwed by a trap. A team, trap disposal unit. Oh, with black pennant. Well, I guess I didn't have anything to be afraid of there. But, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I couldn't have switched Goblin Attack Force anyway. But. Okay, you got me with that bluff there, Sia. Si. I'll give you I'll give you that one. Mmm. MST, huh? Well actually we don't need MST because this duel's over. Tribe infecting virus. Alright, Sly, si. and now I play a good magic card of my own. Snatch deal will let me steal your A-team. Yeah. <laughs> At 
thanks for boosting it for me, Psy. If you hadn't played your black pennant, I wouldn't have won this turn. Whoa, the animation kind of like froze there. That was weird. That was very nice. <laughs> Alright, Trav Infecting Virus. Finish him off, buddy. Oh, man. Yeah. Game over. Uh, 382. Yeah, woof. We didn't do too good on points at all in that one. Boy, that could be fiery duelist. Whatever you say, Sai. Okay, let's save before this next one. In case I run out of time or something. Okay. Alright. And we got Jaden here at the classroom. Hey, glad you showed up. Let's do this. I've been waiting for this duel a long time. Get your game on. Uh, let's do tails. Uh-huh. Alright. Yeah, this game is pretty chill, pretty fun. Okay. Duel! And just like last turn, last time, I'm gonna do my first turn here, and then um, I'm gonna get a drink real quick, so then we'll mong mong it down. Hmm, we got some defensive stuff this time. Then we'll set Sakura to armor. Your turn, GA. Get your game on, it's my turn, so I draw. He seems to get Bursun checks and a uh, skyscraper every time. That's what he got last episode. That, nah, nah, it's fine. I'll take the two monsters, Jake. Mm -hmm. There we go. Nice. One face down from Jaden. Okay, what should we do here? Um, all these got Bursun tricks. Hmm. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. I'm not too good on monsters here, so let's bait the uh, let's bait the magic jammer with snatch steel. I know it kind of feels like I'm wasting snatch steel early, but oh, we didn't have it. Okay, um, let's set this, and I'll play swords. Yeah. Okay. So let's see if he has like an attack effect card, like a. Uh, Mirror Force or something? No. Okay. Well, I don't know what that what in the world that face down is then, Jaden. Um, but all in all, let's set uh, Penguin Soldier. The only reason I didn't play these Mamamas is because, like, what if it's Torrential Tribute, right? And, uh, yeah, that way we have seven tools for next turn. Hmm. Just a face down. Good. That's kind of what I wanted to happen there. Okay, so let's uh, summon Nimble Mamonga. Uh huh. Nimble Mamonga. And we got a good combo here. We got swords and penguin soldier to keep them off monsters. So let's start the flip shenanigans, <laughs> just like in uh, Donna Destiny. So yeah, return penguin soldier, and I'll return whatever you set there, Jay. Okay, and we'll set back penguin soldier. Hmm, this is going pretty good. All right, Nimmo Momonga, go fury swipes. Nice. All right, fury swipes. Wow, and he's not stopping our attacks either. Uh, based on the power of deduction, I mean, he's not stopping our attacks. He didn't play Magic Jammer. I would guess that's either called the Haunted, because he has nothing in the graveyard, or uh, a seven tools of his own. Like, that's, yeah. Okay, another face down from Jaden. Compulse, okay. We'll do the same thing. Penguin Soldier up. Yep, I'll return this. And I'll return this. Okay. Then we'll just attack, just like last turn. Alright, what you got, Jay? Uh, honestly, I could negate that, but negate attack isn't the worst thing in the world, honestly. So we'll just let that go through. That's honestly, that, that could have been a lot worse. So, uh, okay, we'll set this. And I'll set, uh... I don't really need to set Compulse, do I? Um, we'll just switch this to defense, just in case. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Your turn, Jay. Mm-hmm. Gain those life points, buddy. You're up. Okay. Alright, Sinister so Sharp it. Yeah, still not drawing anything too spectacular as far as monsters, but the good part is we're keeping him off of monsters, too, so... Uh, yep. Turn those to the hand. 
Okay, switch everything back to attack mode this time. Alright. Oh yeah, what time are we at, by the way? Okay, I think we can get the rest of the school in. Good, good. He didn't play anything. Maybe he has mag Magic Gem right now for that second face down. Okay, a Manga attack. And Burst Cinetrix. Get him. Very good, very good. Okay. So let's just. And I still have Sakuretsu armor. So let's, uh, main phase two. Let's just, uh, let's do it again. It's been working so far. Let's just set Penguin Soldier. Okay, Jaden. Hmm, kind of an interesting strategy I've got in this one. I'm gonna summon Elemental Hero Avion in attack mode. What in the world? Oh, dude, you're gonna turn. Oh, that is. Well, I have to play Seven Tools here. I mean, I can't believe he played it on his own summon, but ultimately, I think that's gonna work out. I'm pretty sure that other one is his Seven Tools, so yeah. Dang, man, he destroyed the whole war. Ah, uh, honestly, I mean, you might think that was a dumb move, but honestly, that kind of worked out because I wasn't planning on summoning. So, good move, Jaden. Good move. Honestly, that that was, whew, that was devastating. Premature burial on top of it. Okay. Well, at least you burned some of your life points. Um, I guess I can Sakuretsu armor this. I mean, yeah, maybe I should, honestly, based on what's in my hand. That was, man, what a turn that was. Uh, Spiritual Earth Arc Kuragane. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Don't have anything too good I'd like to revive right now, but, uh... Oh, we do have Compulse. I guess I'll uh, just go with Exile Force. It's the strongest thing I got, so... Yeah, and he's wide open, so... Go get him, Exile Force. All right. <laughs> All right, Jaden. What you got, buddy? Nope. Nope. One face down. Is that it? Well, that's it. Okay. Um, okay. Hmm, skate. Ooh. Hmm. Bit of a combo here. So, scapegoat. Once we get the sheep tokens, they actually are Earth. So, we can use a uh, Kuragane on, uh, like, Nimmo Momonga if I need it to finish him off. Or, more likely, Exile Force. Perfect timing. Let me get some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I figured. But you know what, Jaden? I could also dodge Mirror Force here with Kuragane if I just really wanted to, but no. Alright. Alright, Jaden. Alright. Let's, uh, main two. Actually, let's just play Scapegoat now. Yeah. There we go. Okay. And I guess I'll set Sinister Serpent, because why not? And, uh, yeah. Your turn, Jaden. Man, Jaden's really stalling us out here, but, uh, I think we can still finish this duel in this episode. Well, at least I hope so. Actually, you know what? Just in case we can't. Oh, good. He ended his turn. Okay, good, good. Good. Okay. Cross out again. All right. I guess we're doing this, boys and girls. Let's, uh... Kuragane. So, I'll tribute the sheep token. And I'll revive Exile Force. There we go. Uh, nope, don't chain anything. Attack mode. Mm hmm Alright, Jaden, you forced me to do this. Sinister Serpent attack mode. Uh, Alright. Exile Force. Go! Saber Slash. This tool isn't over yet. Yeah, okay, Jade. Sinister Serpent, bite attack. I guess I should save state here, because honestly, like, my phone, uh... Timer on my phone might run out here, so let me let me do that. State one. Yeah, let's see. Right there. Okay. All right, but I'm gonna try to finish it in this episode, guys. Let's see. All right, come on, Jaden. Come on. Don't do anything. I mean, you haven't been doing anything. Oh, good, 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 good. Perfect. Okay. All right, guys. We won. We won. Alright, so, Exile Force, you're up. Go! Spear attack! Phew. We're winning a duel! 
Hey, nice move! Game over! Alright, and only 318 for that. Well, okay. Don't! I lost. Okay, Homer. Thanks, Fire Renewless. Let's do it again sometime. Alright, so, uh, yeah, let's definitely save after that. And, uh, there we go. Alright, guys. Well, that's gonna do it for this episode. Uh, I'm glad we got it all in. But, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys all next time on DX Tool Academy. Bye-bye.